use less than, greater than, or equal to compare the two fractions 21 28 and 6 ninths. Now, your impulse might just to be look at these numbers and say, oh, look at these are larger numbers than those. This must be bigger. You cannot do that. And we'll talk about in, in future videos on why that is, or I encourage you to think about why you cannot do that. But to do it properly, at least in my mind, the best way is to get these both in simplified forms and to just think about what they represent. And in the future, when we learn to convert them to decimals, that's actually the best way to do it, or actually, for me, the easiest way. But let's try to do what we can so far. So 21 over 28, 21 over 28. If we want to put this in in simplified form, 21 is the same thing as 3 times 7. 28 is the same thing as 4 times 7. They're both divisible by 7. Now, if you divide the numerator and the denominator by 7, if you divide both of the 3 times 7 divided by 7 is just going to be 3. 4 times 7 divided by 7 is just going to be 4. So this guy right here is 3 fourths, is equivalent to 3 fourths. Now let's think about what 6 ninths is. Let's think about what 6 ninths is. 6 over 9. And since these numbers are smaller, this is actually a good chance to visualize it. So let's visualize what, if we have ninths, so we have, let me draw the 9 ninths first. So if I were to split it into, let's see, if I were to split it into thirds, I just want to make it so it's reasonably, no, that's not right. Maybe there and there. And then divide each of these into thirds. So just like that, no, a little bit more space to that one. And then we have it like that. And then this one into thirds. Let me draw it like that. So here we have nine pieces of a candy bar, whatever you want to think about it, or nine ninths. Six ninths, six ninths literally means one, two, three, four, five, six. Six ninths represents six of the nine potential pieces, or six of these one ninth of a candy bar pieces, however you want to think about it. Now, six, six is the same thing as. 2 times 3. So you could view it as two groups of 3. So you could view it as, let me do it this way. You could view it as two groups of 3. So this is one group of 3. This is one group of 3 right there. And that is another group of 3. These are two groups of 3. Now, what is 9 equivalent to? 9 is equivalent to, 9 is equivalent to 3. 3 times 3, or 3 groups of 3. So 9 is equivalent to, that's 1 group of 3. That is 2 groups of 3. And now this is 3 groups of 3. 3 groups of 3. So we could draw, we could redraw this as, so if we just draw just the groups of 3, it would look like this. If we just drew the groups of 3, it would look like this. It would look like this. And these. These six, or these two groups of three that the six represents, if we just draw the groups of three, would be that guy and that guy right over there. So how many groups of three do we have? How many, how many thirds do we have? If you consider each of those groups of three as a third, well, we have two thirds. This is equivalent to two thirds. But doing the process that we're used to doing, we could imagine six is two times three. 9 is 3 times 3. If you divide 2 times 3 by 3, you get 2. If you divide 3 times 3 by 3, you get 3. So this 6 ninths is the same thing as 2 as 2 over 3. 2 of the th of 2 of the thirds of the 1 thirds. That's what 6 ninths is equivalent to. Now, let's think about what's larger. 2 thirds, which is the same thing as 6 ninths or 3 fourths. I didn't do 21 over 28 because it would have taken forever to draw. So what does 3 fourths look like? What is 3 fourths? So if we were to take this exact same square, so let me redraw it. So if we were to take that same exact candy bar, so these should be the same size. Instead of cutting it up into three pieces, if we were to cut it up into four pieces, what do we get? So let's see, that's cutting up into two pieces, and now let me cut it up into four pieces. So now this one has fourths, this one has thirds. Three in the denominator here, so let me make it very clear. This represents 
2 thirds. Now this is going to represent, we have four pieces. And if, we ha if we're coloring in three of them, so if we're talking about 3 over 4, that's 1. Let me draw it like this, actually. That is 1, 2, let me scroll up a little bit, 3. This is 3 of the fourths. And the way I drew it, it is not completely obvious to you. Actually, I, the way I drew it, because let me draw it a little bit neater than this. Let me draw it a little bit neater, and it'll become a little bit more obvious. I didn't draw the forts. Here, drawing neatly actually matters. So let me draw it like that, and then split this group. Nope, I want to make it even. So I want to make it like this. OK, so if those are the forts. If we're talking about three of the forts, we're talking about, so if we're talking about three of the forts, we're talking about one, two, three. Fourths. And you can see that 3 fourths is larger than 2 thirds. 2 thirds gets us to this far of the candy bar, while 3 fourths is a little bit more of the candy bar. 2 thirds is about that far. 3 fourths is even more. So 3 fourths is larger than 2 thirds. And we'll show you in the future how to do it numerically. We could use a calculator if you like, or you could do it by hand. But you can see from this visually that 3 fourths, 3 fourths is greater than 2 thirds is greater than 2 thirds. Now they want us to compare these two fractions. So 21 over 28 is the same thing as 3 fourths. So 21 over 28 is going to be greater than 2 thirds, which is the same thing as 6 over 9. And so we are done.